Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, Attention Coach Jeff Copper, and here, we're here today with Dr. Patricia Quinn. Dr. Quinn, welcome to the show. Thank you. I enjoy being with you. I saw a presentation of yours the other day, and I thought it was really, really good. There's the three things that an a, a ADHD student um, it's, well, it's not at college that is in high school. Can we talk through each one of those and then talk about the ramifications of it? Sure. What I always say to students is, you know, college is so different from high school, and mm -hmm. the high school students have absolutely no idea. Mm -hmm. And I, I kind of do it a little dramatically by saying, first of all, there, is no, there, are, there are no parents at college. All right, so if you've been relying on your mother to tell you when to do your homework, yep. to bring you your little sandwich while you're uh -huh. eating, you know, you don't have to do away with those things. Uh -huh. You have to kind of do yep. it. On, yep. you're, you're going it yep. on your own at yep. college. So there's no parents there. They also then don't have anyone to tell you when to go to bed. You yep. don't know yep. when to put yourself yep. to bed. You might not get enough sleep. Yep. You know, as far as taking your medicine and yep. doing yep. all these other yep. things, it's a real issue. Yep. I remember one girl said to me, you know, Dr. Quinn, I never learned to nag myself when I was in high school. Her mother was her nag, yep. Yep. and that's how she got through. Yep. And when she got to college, she missed it. Yep. She said, I yep. didn't learn how to nag myself, so yep. I can't do any of these yep. things. That's the first thing. Yep. The second thing was there is no homework in college. Now, if you think about that, yes, they have assignments, yes, they have reading, but it's very different. You know, your grades in high school really depend on your night, de nightly mm -hmm. homework. Yep. You bring yep. it in, you get it done, you have discussions in class, you may have a pop quiz on the yep. homework from the yep. night before. Now, all those accumulate to contribute to the grade. You may have a course in college where you have a reading assignment mm -hmm. as given to you in the beginning yep. of the year. You have to write a paper, and that's mm -hmm. your grade. So you have a syllabus, yep. how much yep. you have to yes. read every night for class, mm -hmm. and that's it. You don't have to do any of that reading for class, mm -hmm. but you have to have read yep. it all and be able to take the final exam and write that paper. So true. So that's two. So and the third? No homework. The third one is there are no teachers in college. And everyone is always aghast at that. They always go, what are you talking about? No teachers. Think of what an educator teacher does for you. Uh -huh. They want to help you learn. They have some material in the curriculum that they are trying to impart, and they have been taught as edu they are professional educators. Their job is to teach. In college, that's not the case. You have experts in a certain field, whether mm -hmm. it's English, biology, yep, yep. chemistry, and they're an expert in that field. They may even be doing research in that field, and mm -hmm. it's an interest of theirs. And they are just there to impart knowledge to you about the content of yes. this curriculum. They could care less if you got it or not. They, they're yep. interested yep. in it. Yep. They don't care if you're interested in it or not. So there are really, no one's trying to teach you anything. Yep. They're trying yep. to tell you what they know, and that's it. Well, what, what struck me about this is interesting is when I hear, okay, there's no parents, yeah, no homework, even better. Wait a second, they're not teaching me. You're, 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 whoa, because when you first said that, it struck me, wait a second, I, re I really love what you said, but as a parent, to sit down with your teen that's getting ready to go and say, hey, there's none that's there, but do you realize that there's no teachers and you've got to gather information? Maybe you can catch their attention and say, okay, why don't you go gather some information on your own and learn it, because that's the experience like. And if you begin to look at it in those terms and sit down with your teen in that awareness, you might get lucky and get an aha, but it is amazing to me what you describe because those three things are missing. And those are the three things that can really trip somebody up when Absolutely. they're making that transition. You know, they have to know how they learn. Yep. They have to know how I'm going to get yep. this information in how am I going to get this yep. done how am I going to plan and your professor is not going to help you yep. do that yep. that's up to you so when you get there you yep. already I mean you have to yep. hit the ground running you already have yep. to know how to be able to do this and that's not what your teachers have been doing Absolutely. in high school the students in college who said they had the least difficulty transitioning were students who said they went to a rigorous high school mm -hmm. that were more like college courses uh -huh. as far as not maybe nightly homework being yep. so yep. important more long-term assignments so when they went to a rigorous high school and when their parents learned to let go early and put them on their own, they found the transition to college a lot easier yep. because they had been practicing some yep. of those things. And if they don't have those things, they find it much more difficult. Well, very good advice. Three key things think out there. If you can get your teen to watch this, maybe do, because I'm telling you, it's easy to learn with a good teacher when somebody's throwing information in and you just have to figure it out on your own is a lot difficult. So, Dr. Quinn, thank, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks for having me.
Take care. Bye.